Our industry is uh, so full of uh, assumptions based upon superstitious belief systems that it is uh, quite frankly disgusting. One of the most dangerous assumptions that exists in the software development industry is that we need 80% unit test coverage for all software we create. Now, if you believe in that, then whenever you start a new project, you have to start out by adding some sort of like IOC dependency injection container to your project. Why? Because you need the ability to exchange its underlying implementation such that you can create unit tests. <laughs> so now you have a controller HTTP. If we imagine a read operation from a database that's in the deterministic code. Now, if we imagine a read uh, invocation towards the database, right? So you have the controller in C sharp, which declares the URL and the input arguments and the output arguments. And then you have um, a service interface that is uh, injected into that by the IOC container, and then you have a service implementation. You're now up to four files, right? Because you have the controller, C-sharp class, then you have the interface, C-sharp declaration, then you have the actual service implementation that implements the interface, and then you need to actually uh, map these together in your initialization logic, such that, you know, whenever the interface is being requested, an instance of your service implementation is being created by the IOC container and injected into your controller's constructor. So, since you now want to, let's say you want to use a couple of additional best practices, data repository pattern, okay, two more files, one interface and one implementation, and uh, then you need entity framework declaration files, etc., etc. All in all, you're up to nine files. So you now got nine files and 120 lines of code. Now, if you have nine files and 120 lines of code, you need unit testing. So the belief in that you needed unit testing becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy that results in that you need unit testing. Now, I want to emphasize this code here does everything I now told you. I needed nine files and 120 lines of code in C sharp to solve. And this code is five lines of code. Do you think that code needs unit testing? If you say yes to that answer, you need to have your head checked. The underlying slots, however, needs unit testing. Magic's implementation has 1,400 unit tests and I got a coverage of like 92% or something in Magic. And Magic itself needs unit testing, but your code doesn't need unit testing. And the reasons for that is because 80% of your code is indeterministic. You see, there are two types of code. There's indeterministic code and there's deterministic code. And deterministic code does the same thing every single time it executes. <clears throat> you should test indeterministic code. No, you should test deterministic code. Sorry. But indeterministic code integrates with your database or third-party web APIs or data files or somehow dynamic data that results in that your code never executes the exact same way twice unless it happens to have the same data state. This is why you needed a mock object when you created a unit test for reading items from the database. And then you have a mock object that becomes uh, the um, interface implementation that returns some static objects back to your unit tests. Now you're not testing your unit tests, you're testing your mock object. And the only reasons why you created a mock object was because you needed unit testing.
So you basically created unit test classes simply because you wanted unit test classes that resulted in you needing unit test classes. You throw away unit testing as a concept. You no longer need mock objects. You no longer need IOC. You no longer need dependency injection. You no longer need a service implementation. You no longer need a DTO. You no longer need a data repository patterns, etc., etc., etc. And you end up with five lines of code instead of 120. So unit testing hurts your ability to create working software for indeterministic code. So the more unit testing you add to your indeterministic code, the less stable your code becomes and the more potential bugs can in theory arrive from your unit tested code. And the amount of coverage doesn't even matter because regardless of how much coverage you've got in your unit test, the only thing you're testing is your mock objects. You're not testing your code. Have a nice day.